Hey guys, I'm Christine with Kimbap TV. I recently revisited Flagstaff, Arizona, where I worked as a TV reporter more than a dozen years ago. Here are some nostalgic places I love and other spots I recommend if you're planning a trip here too. Late for the Train is a great place to start your day. It was one of the most iconic coffee houses when I used to live here. It's locally owned and operated and actually includes three businesses in one, a coffee roastery, espresso bar, and bakery. They opened back in 1993 and I am so glad Glad they're still around in spite of COVID-19. I introduced my husband Maddie to the cafe that's located just across the street from Heritage Square in downtown Flagstaff. We make sure to pick up a few bags of coffee to take home. The Flagstaff blend will be going to my mom who specifically requested it. Another local coffee place that's etched in my memory is Wicked AZ. Look for the little shacks throughout the city where you can drive through and get caffeinated. We try a seasonal brew this time called Chunky Monkey and I highly recommend it. Downtown Flagstaff is probably my favorite part of the city. It's where I made the most memories with friends at happy hours and during lazy afternoons. For retail therapy, I love coming to Old Town shops. There are two levels filled with fun stores for you to check out. On this trip, I pick up a shirt on sale from PJ Chill Cottage. This shop is filled with motivational quotes, which keep me feeling uplifted. Blackhound Gallery has a lot of funny and witty gifts, and if you go downstairs, a little koi pond greets you. The basement marketplace provides both on-trend and vintage options. I see my old friends Lizzie McGuire and Buttercup, one of the Powerpuff Girls, featured on different stickers. And on the side is my favorite underground restaurant in town. Bigfoot Barbecue. We're here before COVID restrictions are fully lifted, and it hurts to see this place not filled with hungry customers. As for happy hour, pay and take is a unique choice. It's a beer and wine bar where you can order from the bar itself or just grab a drink from the fridge, like at a convenience store. I always thought this mascot was cute and made sure to pay him a visit when I had a few extra minutes. The place I frequented the most for happy hours, however, is this place, Charlie's. Well, this building is actually called the Weatherford Hotel, but my friends and I refer to it as Charlie's because there is a bar inside with that name. This hotel is more than 120 years Years old. It celebrated its grand opening on New Year's Day 1900. For many years, this was the most prominent of the hotels in Flagstaff, entertaining many well-known guests including Western author Zane Grey, for whom this upstairs bar is named after. This is where my friends and I would meet regularly to unwind after a long week and meet new people who were doing the same. Drink prices sure went up a lot since the last time I was here. Smirnoff shots were $2.50 each and so were pints of its featured beer. Thankfully, the popcorn is still free and we snack on that with our cocktails on the porch before heading out to dinner. I'm so excited to see two Korean options for dinner. When I lived here, there were no options at all. But right in the heart of downtown is Naduri, and when I step inside, the old-timey Korean artwork and decorations make me so happy. There's a combination of Korean barbecue, Chinese Korean, and just traditional Korean dish options. I get a bit skeptical when the server brings me miso soup, and when my friend's tangsuyuk, which is usually made with pork, comes with chicken, but my stone bowl bibimbap tastes as authentic as it gets, and I am so happy my friends were willing to take a chance and try Korean food for the first time. About five miles away from downtown is the Continental Country Club. It offers some of the most peaceful settings in the city while allowing me to burn a few calories. Maddie and I enjoy an afternoon round of golf at this 18-hole championship course. Some of the holes take us between luxurious homes and creative wooden carvings. It's so quiet and relaxing here, and by the 10th hole, Maddie tells me that this has become his favorite golf course. And finally, about a 20-mile drive from the golf course brings you here to Lake Mary. This is the closest thing to a beach I could find while I lived here, and I would come when I felt homesick for Southern California. I loved watching the sunset behind the trees and just admired the natural beauty. So these are just some of the spots that make Flagstaff extra special to me. Let me know by commenting below if you've also been here and what places you recommend people check out. Thank you so much for joining me. Please like, subscribe, and share this video with someone you know. I'll see you again next time. Bye.